Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel, Webflow Users. In today's video, we'll dive into an exciting topic, which is how to connect HubSpot with your Webflow website. HubSpot is a powerful customer relationship management CRM platform that helps you manage your leads, track customers' interactions, and automate marketing campaigns. By integrating HubSpot with Webflow, you can streamline your marketing efforts and enhance your website capabilities. So let's get started and learn how to connect HubSpot with Webflow in 2023. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. So the first thing that you would like to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. For me, in my case, I'm actually going to use Brave Browser, but of course, in your case, you can use any other browser it could be possibly working for you. So whatever preferred browser you have, just go and open it up. And then the first step is setting up your HubSpot account and Webflow projects. So if you haven't already created a HubSpot account and set up your desired CRM settings, forms, and marketing automation workflow and Webflow, ensure you have an active project where you want to integrate HubSpot. Both platforms should be ready to connect and exchange data seamlessly. So simply, we will have to go and have type on this home screen or URL section hubspots.com and that will take us to directly the home screen or main screen. Of course, you can get started for free or get a demo. So simply let's click and get started for free if you still didn't do it yet. You can simply continue with Google if you want, which I will do here. So I don't get any so I'll have so I don't have to go through all the boring steps of creating or logging into my account. And as you can see what industry are you in? An example let's just say uh, websites here or let's just choose others as an example why not job role uh there's others yeah why not i'm just going to do something and the company name is going to be test because i don't care actually how many uh, people work at your company one just me it's going to be test.com and let's just add plus this www.test.com Simply may just add a website here. And as you can see, where you would you like your data to be hosted? You, you, <coughs> EU or US. As you can see, this is Europe and this is United States of America. So choose whatever suits you and then click on create account. As you can see, now they are preparing my account. Of course, if I have any uh, things I want to ask, I can simply go here and ask them. And as you can see, I have never used CRM before. And as an example, uh, send marketing emails or I'm just going to answer randomly because I don't care exactly how to do so. And as you can see, here I have my account now. Now I'll have to generate the HubSpot tracking code. In HubSpot, you'll have to navigate to the tracking code settings and generate the HubSpot tracking code snippet. So you'll have to copy the code provided as you will need to add it to your Webflow projects. And this code enables HubSpot to track visitors actively on your website and capture data for CRM purposes. So simply go to the settings here at the top right corner, click on it. And once you are here, make sure to go into integrations, API key, and make sure to go and get an API key by going to private, to private apps and then copy yours. Then open a new tab, go and type with flow.com and hit the enter button. Of course, here, make sure to log in into your account. And if you don't have an account, click on get started and follow the prompt to create your account. Once you do so, make sure to create your Webflow projects or a website. Once you do so, of course, click on the three dots and click on settings. Of course, once you created your account, they will actually uh, tell you to create a website. So you don't have to do that by your own. They will, you'll have just to simply follow some instructions and you'll be good to go. Once you're here, make sure to choose this custom code and simply paste the API code that you get here. Of course, as you can see, I cannot do so unless I have a plan. So make sure to go and get a plan. Uh, of course, there's the website plan. You will need the CMS one, as you can see here. So make sure to go and get this. And of course, you can, if you want to get more, you can so and you can compare all the plans from here, from publishing to size features to CMS and to CSO traffic and inter integrations or interactions, security, admin, and of course, there's even the e-commerce site. There's standard plus and advanced, and all of them. Uh, will be able or will let you get your custom code and of course this one will get you to a uh, percent transaction fee those zero and 
if this have 500 e-commerce items those are more and you can compare of course plans from here from publishing to design to payment to marketing and to management once you do so of course once you generate uh, or once you add the hops spot tracking code to your website uh, projects of course in webflow you open your project navigate to the project settings you can locate this custom code as we said and paste the hubspot tracking code snipped into the footer code field save the changes to ensure the tracking code is applied to all pages of your webflow website and simply you'll have to integrate hubspot forms and ctas in webflow so simply is simply hubspot provides uh, embedded Embeddable forms and call to action CTA models uh, that you can add to your Webflow website and help spot. So create the desired forms and CTA and CTA using their utilitative interface. And once created, help spots will generate the necessary embedded code in Webflow and add an HTML embed element. Of course, you can do so here by clicking on this uh, open web designer or editor and simply add the HTML code from here. You'll be able to and simply embed element to your desired page and paste the HubSpot embed code within it and this will display the HubSpot form or CTA on your Webflow site. Then you can simply go and test and optimize your HubSpot integration. So it's crucial to test your HubSpot integration to ensure the data is flowing correctly between HubSpot and Webflow. Fill out your HubSpot uh, form uh, to your Webflow website and verify that the data is being captured and stored in HubSpot. Additionally, explore HubSpot's analytics and reporting features uh, to track the performance of your marketing campaigns. Of course, if you're still having any issues, you can open a new tab as an example and go here and type university, university.webflow, webflow, webflow com and hit the enter button that will take you here of course if you are logging into webflow you'll find yourself logged in here also go to more go to integration and then go to the search button and make sure to type hub spot and as you can see you'll find this here make sure to click on it and as you can see you'll be able to view the websites from here we don't want to do so we would like to view lessons so here if you are if you get confused in anything in this tutorial you'll find everything more or better explained here in this lessons so make sure to read them if you're having any issues you'll find everything here and even you can contact them if you're still having any issues so if you reach this far or this part congratulations you successfully connected hubspot with your webflow website allowing you to leverage the power of hubspot crm and marketing automation tools by seamlessly integrating these platforms you can enhance your lead generation track customer interactions and optimize your marketing efforts remember to explore hubspot's extensive features and continue your refining or continue refining your webflow website to drive more conversation and engagement if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more for more web designs tips and tricks thank you for watching and happy marketing with hubspot and webflow and i will see you in the next one